Hey guys, it's Mango, and welcome back to Mango Minecraft Style. This is, I think, the fifth episode, and in this episode, I'm going to show you my thermal expansion, because I've been working really hard on figuring it out, and I think I've got a pretty decent working system going on. So, um, but before we get to that, how are you guys doing? You guys having a good day? Did you have a good holiday? Um... You gonna have anything fun going on for uh, for Christmas or for New Year's? All that good stuff. I hope you had a good holiday. At least I had a good holiday. I got a punching bag. It was fun. It was definitely definitely worth it. Um, all right. So you know what? I think we're just gonna jump right into this. All right. So this is thermal expansion. Are these machines? Uh, except for that one. That's not thermal expansion. That's an uncrafting table. I'll show you that in a minute. But this, 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 and to be honest, um, that, which I haven't figured out really what to do with because I don't need it. Um, this is all thermal expansion. So what I want to show you first is I want to show you the power gen for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and oh my god, look at it! It's so pretty. Oh lord, look and see. I even got some IC2 going on in here. I got an MFE full of power. Oopsies. Let's let's go ahead and just fill that sucker up right there. There we go. All right. So what you've got here, this is called a magma crucible. What a magma crucible does is when given energy. It it can take um, it can take nether rack it can take cobblestone it can take stone it can take obsidian or uh, and turn that into lava it can also cook redstone which I will show you in a bit and turn it into molten redstone um, but what I'm doing is I've essentially got a nether rack or a uh, a barrel full of nether rack it's constantly spitting down nether rack into this guy see it stays full. And if it's already full, then it just doo -doo -doo, zooms back around. It just keeps on moving. So what I do is I've got the wooden pipe with a redstone engine activating it, bring, pulling everything out. All right. And, and then if it needs to go around, it just shoots back around and it drops back in. Not a big deal. So it just stays continuously flowing. Let's grab our jetpack back. Look at that. Still full. That's ridiculous. All right. Um... Now what it's connected to is that at the bottom of it I actually have this uh, waterproof uh, waterproof uh, blah, what is that called pipe waterproof piping that feeds these four engines okay now you can make this uh, you can make this actually without any um, any power to begin with because you can hook that one up run it to one engine put one lava cell in that engine the engine will start up start running that and it should give you just enough to start producing lava once you've done that boom you're good to go it always sounds like there's people in my house it's very strange I don't think there's anybody in my house I don't see any names it's very weird anyways so what I did is then I added the other three engines I'm actually not sure what that switch goes to anymore, but I added the other three engines and just ran doo -doo 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 -doo, the power car, the car, or the uh, the pipe to them, so that they're also getting power. See, these guys are full of lava, every single one of them. I'm actually wasting lava, I think. Um, and then what they do is these pipes right here feed power. Comes out, you've got a wooden uh, conductive pipe that comes out to the golden conductive pipe. All right, and this pipe, uh, let's go this way, goes apparently further than I remember. But it, this this pipe actually goes around and then goes in here. There we go. How does it get, there we go. And then goes up and it feeds a couple of machines up there. I'm just going to put, bam, that right there. Because we want to keep everything pretty. Okay, how did that missing? Here we go. All right, and then also if we go over here, I think it's no, it's one of these. I just don't remember which. There we go. We have to be very careful because right now this piping is very, very bad. They're not bad. All right, so okay, so you saw the energy. The energy actually comes out and goes this way. 
boom boom and it's fed up and it feeds into a little trough that feeds all the machines now what you see here also is this lava that this magma crucible is supplying this thing is supplying lava to those four engines it's also supplying lava to the geothermal generator let's see if I can show you without throwing my axe Whoop. see you can see that how the geothermal is attached to it it just works man that's awesome so I've got an MFE set up here so that I can charge like my jetpack and my helmet and that kind of stuff when I have them alright so and what I did is it also feeds lava out through gold pipes all the way up um, have to be very careful and it feeds it into a machine up there now you see some water up there I'll show you that here in just a second um, so let's put that there let's go back out here so this is this is literally all this room is is power generation all right that's all it's used for and the way I get all this nether brick is, or nether rack is we've got a um, um, what is it a quarry set up in the nether to constantly quarry this stuff so we go in there for a little while go AFK and let it quarry and we pull a few stacks and those few stacks will last for a good long while so now we'll come upstairs and I'll start showing you some stuff um, let's see am I gonna be able to get to I think it's right here I don't want to punch these pipes alright so the next thing we see is the other thing that we need to feed are these aqueous accumulators these require no external power all they do is you stick them in I usually do a uh, like a cross not a cross like a plus sign and you put it in the middle and what it does is it sucks out water and right now I've got the two of them feeding all this pipe right here alright and this gold pipe feeds into blah 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 feeds into this machine and it also feeds into this machine all right. That other power that I showed you feeds over here to these guys right here. This uh, this is another uh, magma crucible because I was using it to make the redstone, and this is a liquid transposer. You can use it for many, many, many things. But let's show you what we've got. Let's see if I've got any raw ore. I can kind of show you. Um, unfortunately, I don't don't think I do. Let's go see if we can steal some. Do 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 do. Doc's base. Don't mind his this stuff. I have no idea what it is. Do you have any raw ore? Let's see if he's got any. What do we got in here? Nope. I'm gonna borrow. I'm gonna take uh, some silver. I grabbed some silver need it for a test do, 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 do. and we'll just take that back to him later anyways so the start of the system is uh, it's we got this hopper here okay so the hopper is feeding into the pulverizer and what the pulverizer does boop is it actually takes and it crushes everything up da, 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 da. so I put what well, you saw that I put one in there oh look there's some pulverized silver oh look there's another oh it's doing it again See this? This is its power, by the way. These, uh, this right here is how much power it's got stored. It does have a little bit of storage in it, so it feeds automatically into this, into this, and into here. Oh, right, look! There's our silver. So one ore gives you two silver, or gives you two ingots. All right. So what we can do is I can just put that there. It'll automatically start feeding down, and you can see it's eating up some power shouldn't run out I actually have to redo my power gen a little bit if I start to use these machines a lot then it can suck a lot of the power out but right now I mean I'm running two machines and it's barely even touching it so what the like I said what those do is it comes boom, boom, boom feeds in comes out now you'll see all these different colors you've got the configuration here alright configurations are pretty cool you've got the left side you've got the bottom you've got the right side you've got the top and then you've got the back and you can this is always your input the blue is your input this is actually orange because there's two different colors here I wanna say it's like red and yellow and so you can actually feed those out into different things because what happens is as you're smelting 
Right as you're uh, pulverizing, like I'm pulverizing silver ore, but it gave me pulverized lead also. Those little cats. Oh, it's Doc. Say hi to Doc. Hi. Um, so it gave me, see, it just gave me another pulverized lead. It's a byproduct. So what you can do is you can use these to pump in or out different things. All right. So what I did is the orange c combines both of these, and they automatically get brought out into this. So you see I've got blue on the left and blue on the top. Well, that gives me an input on the left and an input on the top. And that's how that works. And then we've got an output orange on the right goes into the chest automatically. See how it's working there? All right. Next machine, we're going to move on because there's not much else to these two. The next machine we've got here is the sawmill. And I think I've got, do I have any raw? I do. Let's use that. All right. Sawmill is exactly what it says. It cuts wood. Now, you know, when you take a piece of oak wood or oak wood in general, it gives you four planks. whoop de doo All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, oh, see, here's a good thing. Sorry. forgot. This one doesn't have an input activated. See, there's no blue because I'm not feeding wood from anywhere. This is strictly, I put it in there and that's what it uses. But you see, it's got the red and the yellow outputs. The yellow is going up top and the red is going to the left. To the left is the chest, which is where the oak wood comes out, and to the top is this pipe here. All right, It automatically pulls it out and pushes it in to this crafting table. It's an auto crafting table. All right, What it does is it's got a byproduct called sawdust. We're going to stick it in there and it's going to move right along. Boom. See? Look at that. And it's going to pull it up. Then it comes out, it gets pulled out with the redstone engine of this table when it gets to the eight. See, watch it. Bam. And that comes out. It's um, compacted sawdust or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see. Compressed sawdust. All right, and that gets dropped into the hopper so that when this empties out, it's going to actually come back into here and make charcoal. It's gonna cook in here and make charcoal. So I'm actually getting two things out of this. See how my oak wood planks are going though? But you can't see anything because it's all just being automatically done. That's right. That's cool, isn't it? All right. Now we're going to move on to the next machine. And this machine is not really connected. This one uses power. But we can actually create snowballs, snow blocks, or ice blocks. That's a dock. Hi. Did you make a facade? He did. What you doing there, buddy? What you doing? Hi! Oh. Cool. Alright, so... Let's chill him. Chill. Recording. Give me a few. Did he bake? What did? There was something there. Anyways. I think he. I'm not sure what he did. What did you do? Where's my chest? Oh, there it goes. Alright, so. We go to this thing right here. Um, this is called a glacial precipitator. And we've got the configuration set up so that. Uh, it's got an input on the back. It needs an input for water. Now that's where one of those things is going. He totally made a facade. That is wicked. Um, and so we've got the water coming in. And then the output, the orange, goes into the chest right here. Alright, so what we can do is, if, let's say we want to make some ice blocks. Flick it on. See, it's using the water. He must have it. Oh, there it goes. Bam. Alright, we can go over here. Look at that, ice blocks. And I've got the little thing on the front of it so that it just stops when I want it to. All right. So you barely used any power. So I can, I can just sit here and I can make an ice tower if I want to without having to freeze the blocks in a snowy area, yada, 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 yada. I can just place the ice blocks. So awesome. And it automatically feeds into here. All right. Then we've got the igneous extruder. This thing is pretty awesome. It uses lava and water. All right. 
and it can create cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. Now we use it mostly for obsidian. Now in the configuration over here, we've got it, the orange, the output, feeding into the chest, and the blue, which is your water input, feeding in from the back or feeding in from the top I'm sorry the lava doesn't for some reason doesn't actually need the input I don't think um, we can just do that oh there he goes yeah he must have hit the wrong switch on it earlier um, so we've got full lava now all we do is we go BAM we turn that sucker on and it takes and it mixes the water and the lava and we get obsidian so you can make make obsidian infinitely um, infinite amounts of obsidian as long as you can get a setup going for water and lava and we'll turn that off we've made three obsidian already how ridiculous is that so what are you guys thinking so far you guys enjoying this please don't forget to comment about this stuff in the comments below this machine right here I'm gonna show you what it is it's not a it's not part of uh, give me a golden hoe it's not part of thermal expansion but it's there so you might as well get to see it we're gonna go golden hoe into the uncrafting table now it takes two levels to uncraft this, but I can take that and get two sticks and two gold out of it. Takes two levels, that's all, and I can come in here and I can put this stuff back up. Ma'am, I have just cra uh, uncrafted that and gotten two pieces of gold. Can be really handy. You have to make that with a map maze focus, I believe is what it's called, and then uh, eight crafting tables. So. Now moving on to our next things here. We've got a magma crucible and a liquid transposer. Alright, so what this does, I've got this magma crucible set to um, to melt redstone because to make energy conduits you need, you need liquid redstone. As you can see I've got a bunch of it already. But we can go boom and set this in here. I've got a hopper set on here in case I ever need to mass produce this I can. But as you can see it just keeps going up it just takes it it cooks it right into uh, the liquid and then liquid is automatically outputting into this side and this is not outputting into anything but I can actually switch this and make it go the other way if I wanted to so if I've had like um, I, I don't know if I had like 40 stacks of lava cells I could put them all in the hoppers and I can make it go the other way and it would feed those into something else. So I could actually feed those into engines, I think. I've not played with that too much. So, and then there is one more machine, like I said, and it's a, where is that? It's in here. It is called the induction smelter. And it uses sand. You you smelt, smelt that together, smelt other things together with sand, and it gives you slag. And you can use slag to make, um, rock wool which is a uh, fire resistant wool fireproof wool so it's really cool and uh, so boop, boop. but yeah that's my uh, wow he totally fixed that I need to miss that one that looks so cool uh, doc is apparently using some facades that he's crafted created whatever let's see how much charcoal we got Ooh, look at this I got eight, so I put in half a stack of silver, and I got a stack of silver and eight lead ingots. I put in what, like 50, 50 pieces of uh, log, and I got fifteen charcoal out of that. How cool is that? Look at that, and it just pulls right out. So, I know if you play Tech It, you're used to the indu uh, industrial craft stuff, which is still really cool because you know jetpack. Hello. Who doesn't want a jetpack already? We. We're gonna go out here and look around. Um, this is a house, by the way, guys. If you want to see this, this I'm still working on. It. I gotta put windows in and everything like this. Uh, this is actually an add-on. I've already had to add on to the house. I've got to get the correct color wood and everything. But uh, those aqueous accumulators, those things needed a lot of they needed more space than I originally anticipated so I had to uh, build onto the house because I'm trying to hide as much of this as possible with uh, facades and and blocks and stuff so like I could probably get away with doing like um, this right here um, well do I have any other 
I have some spruce wood. I'm always hearing somebody opening stuff in my house. It's really creepy. I'm starting to think I'm actually haunted. Or being haunted. Bam, look at that. And then we can go like this. But the only problem with that is it makes it look just a teensy bit weird. So that probably won't stay. But it's still pretty neat. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure out something with the facades. Whee! Um, if you haven't seen it, we're going to go over here and we're going to take a look at our cows real quick. Because I don't think I've showed them off lately. Uh, we put a feeder in a couple episodes ago. And look at all my cows! Another thing we did, and I'll have a video up, you'll see what this ice roads are for later. I'm going to try and put a video up of that later on too. But I stuck a feeder in, and somebody apparently put weed in it, because now I've also got sheep. I've got sheep and cows, and that is a lot of stuff. Let's see. How many is over here? It should show. What is that? 55 there. 40, 55. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of animals. We're going to go back over here, because that's too loud for me, and I don't want to mess with that. So, yeah. That is how you work. That is one way of doing thermal expansion. There's other ways to do it, but so far that is the quote unquote, most, that's the automated system. That's the most automated I can get it. You have to have another rack. Now it doesn't burn too quickly. Um, and you can see I ran, that one's using energy, that one's using energy, that one's using energy. That's three, those two, uh, let's see, does this one? Four, that uses energy. Five and six. Let me make sure. Yep. So I've got six things using energy off of that. Also, hang on. Um, seven, because it's counting this. So yeah, seven items that are actually using energy off of just these four. Uh, and it's always working. Like, I've not ran out of power yet. And then, like I said, I've got lava feeding, some industrial craft geothermals. So that's always full. Um, there's probably a good chance I'll do some other stuff with the lava because there's just so much of it. I just haven't figured out what yet. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Now, since we've done the thermal expansion part, it's only been about uh, 20 minutes. So we're going to go click, cut, and we're back. I didn't actually leave. So we're going to go to... Boom, my plot. I was told to come to my basement earlier. I'm not quite sure what's in my basement or why there's a hole in it. I hear water. So we're going to run up here and we're going to look at, uh, see there's, there's my old lava right there. I haven't built anything on here in a while. I really should get some sort of building going or at least fix the ground. Do not break any machine ever. There's actually stuff still up here. Oh, look at the little lava. He's so cute. There's like piping still here. I really should fix this. I need to clean this up and if nothing else, like plant some trees or something. All right, so you guys want to see something cool? This is Doc Redstone's newest creation. Yeah, it's very, rather tall, so I have to take hover mode off. But it is, I don't have any stuff with me. It's an ultimate spawner. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, look at him go. Come on, spawn me something. Spawn me something. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six. There are six spawners in here currently. There we go. And eventually everything falls into that block. We're going to close that up. And we're going to stand here for a minute. It looks really cool on the map, though. Alright. And then we're going to go down here and hover mode off. Because we fall that much quicker. And look at that. Oh! And everything is a one-hit punch. It should be. Apparently this spider wasn't. Come on, dude. Come on. Fine, I'll hit you with a shovel. 
There we go. See that? It's almost foolproof. He's still working on it a little bit. Uh, that's where I'm getting the golden hose. I found some kind of skeleton, weird skeleton spawner. That may be one of the ones from the nether. But, yeah, he's been working on that. It's pretty epic. So, uh, I will keep you updated on that. What else do we got that I can show you? This is like server tour time. Um, this is his thing. He's still not finished it. He will eventually finish that, I think. Um, we can go over here. This is Jaded's place, and she has been working, 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 working on all the farms. Like, uh, that's Pumpkin. That's, uh, I uh, believe that's Potatoes. And it's automated when this is a solar panel doohickey. I have no idea how it works. This is Pete. I want to say this whole thing is Pete with other stuff in the middle. Then now that she's got some kind of coal slash tree farm or slash solar thing going on. Holy bananas. She's got a wheat farm from heck going. That looks good. This is Wes Wilson's place, which is not on right now. Uh, he's working on a tree village kind of thing. Looks really neat. He's got stairs going all over the place. And he's got a little house up there. I don't know whose that is. I think that's Cleo's. Zombie Cleo stuff. So, but you see there's a lot of work going into a lot of different things. And uh, we're just, we're really just having a lot of fun on the server. Um, me and Doc, we spend a fair amount of time on here. The only problem is right now, we don't know if we're replacing the map because of the new mod pack. So right now we don't have red power. So we're still trying to decide what we're going to do about that. I'm coming down here. Now I want to show you where I got my idea. Ow. Where I got my idea for Doc, uh, for my magma engine setup. This is the uncompressed version of that. And he's not running as much stuff as you would think. Is he getting shot? Um, Doc. Doc probably should pay attention. He might die. I should probably save him. There we go. Anyways. So, what I saw is I came over here and I saw all this. And I thought, you know what, this would be really cool. I want to try this. But I didn't have the equipment to make this whole giant setup. I need to make one of those. Thermonic fabricators. Um, and so I was like, okay, what is this? And so I went through and I looked at it and I dissected it. And I asked him not to tell me how it works so I could try and figure it out. Oh, look. Some of them got a little off. Weird. And so I was like, well, let me try this. So mine is just a smaller version of his. But... It doesn't actually need to be as big as it is. Like he's got a couple of centrifuges going. It's kind of a lot of stuff. Um, he's got uh, what is this? This is now I'm in the force field. I'm going to have to kick him in the face. I will kill your bugs. Where did he go? I'm stuck in his area. We've made a twilight forest, and that's that's why he's got that. Anyway, so the, uh, this is where I got the idea for <laughs> for uh, my thermal expansion. I thought it was a well done idea. I don't know which this is for, but I really need to make that. Um, so, guys, I hope you are enjoying this series. Um, I've been trying to rack my brain for a question of the day, um, and I think. Uh, what I want to try is I want to try to get people introduced to other things on YouTube other than Minecraft videos. So, um, what I want to do is, question of the day today is, what other than Minecraft do you watch on YouTube? Me, I watch uh, news type stuff. I watch a lot of uh, Philip DeFranco. Look at him making chickens. Um, I watch a lot of Philip DeFranco and SourceFed. So, if you guys haven't looked at that, go check it out. Um... And I, I want to know in the comments below what you guys watch because uh, maybe I'll go check out some of it. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, I hope you learned something from the thermal expansion. If you 
have any questions please leave them in the comments below I will do my best to answer them if it really gets complicated I may have to make like a short video to explain on how to do it um, if you've got an idea for something you'd like me to try go for it I can't promise that I'm gonna get to it but you know who knows anything's possible guys thank you for watching I am mango and I will talk to you guys next time peace